Welcome to my channel. My name is Tyler, your friendly lo-fi and ambient music producer. Today, I'm going to break down one of my favorite tracks called When There Was Me and You. This is a romantic sleepy lo-fi. Let's dive in. So first thing first, this is a 65 BPM and A major. Then I come up with this piano melodies. This is from Noir Piano Dusky, this preset. And I added EQ and RUM for the reverb. Just cut the lows and high and boost it a bit in the middle. I come up with two bar loops melodies. Sounds like this. I always love to start with the piano and feeling the vibe. Then for the chord progressions like this. C major 7, A minor 7, F major 7 and G7. Then it is a same preset of this dusky preset and also for the reverb and also put it a bit in a mid-range of the piano and I layered one chord on at the bottom like this and then you will have more full piano sounds like this Next up, you know I love to add the past sounds in my music. So I try something different of the octave of this chord progressions and I choose the middle note and put up one octave up. Then this is from Alchemy past sounds and also I added reverb and EQ. Then I added a fire sounds dark winter sample pack. On the overall five will be sounds like this. So you already got the very peaceful night feelings. Then I added some texture in the background, make it more sounds interesting. This is also from Pigman. And then I added a reverb RC24, make it more warm and EQ and also make some delay sounds. So basically this is just a one note sounds and make it more some interesting. like something the night bird sounds or something like that. Next up, I added a MIDI guitar from Native Instruments too. This is a strumming guitar sounds from this preset. And I want to add some more uh, acoustic guitar, strumming acoustic guitar in the background of my track. Then I pan it to the left and one to the right to make it more stereo sounds and also run reverb and make it more warm and some EQ. So when the drums come up, I 
edit my bass sounds, it is always from the stop plugins logic and the sounds I just added EQ and sounds like this. Also the bass notes of the chord. So basically this track I make it very simple and then my focus on my guitar melody and also one more high piano melody right here. So let's get into the drum first. So basically this is a very simple drum pattern and this one I make it in the pattern region and then bounce in place to make a sample that I can use it later on my other projects, something like that, and try to make some extra notes in between the hi hat and make it sound more rhythm. Sounds like this. Then I only add an EQ to cut some high. Because in the slip pillow file, I love to make everything very soft, not too much the high in the mix. And then the snare, the B4 sounds like this. Then I feel like this snare can be more compressed. Then I added a compressor to compress a bit. And then EQ to cut the frequency and then will be sounds like this. And you can hear the sounds will be more compressed. Then for the kick, this is also a very simple kick pattern. And before I added a compressor, an EQ sounds like this. After that will be sounds like this. Then I added some press sounds between the bar and add the space outs and cut a lot of the low end and then also reverb sounds like this. Just want to add some more texture. So before the break, I add one delay snare to make it sounds like a transition, which is like this. And I added a compressor, EQ, and also a delay. Just add some more texture and more interesting sounds. So the full drums will be sounds like this. Very simple but soft, sleepy drum sounds. After that, I love to add my guitar when I have a full structure of the track and after the drums because I can feel more rhythm and I can play more different melodies on top. You can watch the performance video here. I make a full performance on of this track. I think you must like it. So for the guitar sounds or the M is from Guitaric 6, it is the same preset in Guitaric 6. And then I add this Soup 2 to cut some frequency, harsh frequency, and EQ boost a bit here. And then I add a ROM for the reverb and also a delay sounds from native instruments. Then I play around with different melody and also make it some automation panning in the second guitar sounds, something like panning into your ears. And there is a also a different melodies for finishing the track. 
So basically, my guitar mixing system is it very similar. Just listen to the frequency, which it is not fit the mix, and then I cut cut it out, and or maybe the sounds I want to boot suit the bit. So basically, it is all the same pre preset, but in the Guitar free. I added a tremolo, make it more some more texture between your ears. Then I love to make the piano melody and the guitar melody have some interactions, like the piano melody saying something and then the guitar to reply on them. So in before the break, I added this melody. It sounds like they are. Speaking together, like this. Can see I got a different melody between all the track because I feel like when you add some and when you play some different melody, will the sounds your track sounds will be more emotional and you can express the feelings not just a loop melody. So sometimes I like to make. A little melody before the break and bring it to the break another new melody and then to bring it up the melody to sounds like we are going back to the words of the check. I really like this technique. Will be sounds more like a very smooth for the in and out. And then also at the end of the track, and I will love to add a different melodies. So this time I added a new guitar melody like this. So I'd like to slow down the track a bit, and also the last thing I added a transition sound. So I didn't add too much, just fade a bit to the. And to make it sound more smooth to the transition. So in the automation part, to automate the higher frequency on the piano, because in this part I want to make my guitar to stand out a bit, so I cut more high ends on my piano. So you can see like this. So I give it back the space to my guitar, and that's why I cut a、uh, cut the high end of my piano. And in this guitar strumming, and I make the automation to fade out the chord. Before the end, and also I make the hi hat to fade it a bit before the break, and also the end. This is automate the volume of the track. So basically, this is how I made this track. You can listen to when there was me and you on all streaming platform. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And please let me know which which type of video you would like me to make more in the future. And I see you in the next week.